Yeah, this is the 17th of March, 2019, article on ABC News, posted on the 17th of March, written by Rahim Faiz, that's F-A-I-E-Z, of the Associated Press, Kabul, Afghanistan. An overnight Taliban assault on checkpoints in northern Afghanistan killed 22 troops after some 100 Afghan forces fled heavy fighting in the country's west last week and tried to cross into neighboring Turkestan, officials said Sunday. The two battles marked the latest setback for the country's battered security forces who come under daily attack and have suffered staggering casualties in recent years. The attacks have continued even as the Taliban have been holding direct negotiations with the United States aimed at ending the 17-year war. I wonder if that bloated hog Mike Pompey is involved in these negotiations, huh? I mean, I'm sure that if they had dining available, he'd be there. Absolutely. Guy's a bloated hog. Mohammed Tayer Ramani, head of provincial council in the northern Faya province, said the insurgents launched the attack late Saturday against checkpoints manned by police and pro-government militants in Kwasar district setting off a fierce gun battle that lasted into Sunday morning. The army sent in reinforcements who were among those killed. He said another 20 Afghan forces were wounded in the attack. The Taliban gained control of more areas in the district after stepping up attacks in recent weeks, Romani said, adding that troop reinforcements have arrived from the capital. Provincial police spokesman Karim Yuresh confirmed that a large number of Taliban launched attacks in Faryab, but he could not immediately provide more details. Last week, around 100 Afghan soldiers in the western Baghis province fled their post and tried to cross the border during a week-long battle with the Taliban, officials said Sunday. Mohammed Nassar Nazari, a provincial council member in Baghis, said the soldiers weren't allowed to cross the border and their fate remains unknown. The Taliban have posted pictures of captured soldiers on social media. Jamshid Shaba, the provincial governor's spokesman, said 16 soldiers have been killed and 20 wounded during the ongoing battle in the Bala Moga district, in which the military carried out airstrikes and dispatched reinforcements. He said a number of the soldiers tried to flee without providing an exact figure. Shaba said more than 40 insurgents were killed in the fighting. He said the provincial police chief and army commander are in the district in instructing the forces to root out insurgents and rescue soldiers. Officials said the fighting had largely subsided by Sunday with sporadic clashes breaking out in remote areas. Now Zari provided a high toll saying 50 soldiers were killed and around 100 others were missing. He said hundreds of local residents have gathered in front of Baghish governor's office to express their concern about security in the province. What security? Have you heard the mainstream media talking about this? Huh? All these soldiers, many of them are Muslims, if not all of them are Muslims. But everyone's focused on what happened reportedly in New Zealand. He said Bala Moga is almost completely controlled by the Taliban with Afghan forces confined to the district headquarters. In a separate development on Sunday in a Islamic State, affiliate claimed the killing of local TV journalists in the eastern Kosh province. The group did not say why it targeted Sultan Mohammed Kirkawa, a reporter with the local Zaman TV and radio, who was killed Friday when two men on a motorcycle opened fire on his vehicle. Another Afghan reporter was wounded in a targeted bombing last week in the southern Hemlock province. Afghanistan is among the most dangerous countries in the world for reporters. It isn't just reporters, it's for our military as well. The Afghan Journalist Safety Committee reported 121 cases of violence against journalists and media workers in 2018, with 17 killed. See, the problem is that the Taliban melts into the population. You don't know who they are. You can't beat them because you don't know who they are. And here's what's frightening. 
There are little babies that were born when George Bush decided to enter this war in Afghanistan so they could control the opium, uh, I'm sorry, so they could uh, retaliate against the 9-11 insurgents, which weren't Taliban, which weren't Afghans, which weren't Saudis. But that's a different story. Absolute bullshit. The point is that little babies that were born back then are now on the battlefield killing our soldiers. How sick is that? Hmm? And what's George W. Bush doing? He's enjoying his retirement. He should be breaking rocks in Leavenworth before he's executed. That's sort of what I think. And he shouldn't be alone. Dick Cheney should be right beside him. Donald Rumsfeld, Condoleezza Rice, that whole administration. And Robert Mueller, who headed the FBI during the takedown of the Twin Towers and didn't turn it into a crime scene. Absolutely insane. I'll attach the link. Repost this in your social media accounts. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Thanks for listening.